Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is a Wednesday evening. I hope uh, you've had a fantastic Wednesday so far. Of course, another day of pretty good temperatures across the region. Of course, weather 2020 video. Uh, here's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about some rain chances over the next couple days. And then also on top of that, um, we're going to look when's our potential for a last freeze which of course uh, a lot of people want to know. I, I get asked all the time when they, when can they get the plants back outside and start doing all the gardening and all that wonderful jazz. But that's what we're going to do today and also look at our next chances for severe weather across the region. All right, so first off, um, let's take a look at this here. Um, of course, Superior Roofing and Construction, they're a four-state premier roofing contractor. So, uh, if you do have roofing needs, especially in severe weather season now, um, hail, wind damage, or if you think you may have had hail damage, give them a call as they're a good group of guys did my roof not too long ago. Plus, if you mentioned that you heard about Superior Roofing from me, they're going to give a percentage to the Christian Hetty Foundation, which is uh, definitely pretty near and dear to my heart. All right, so Weather 2020, this is our new product. Uh, it's not quite out yet. We're hoping in a few weeks we're going to call it the Global Predictor. So this is pretty cool because you can go uh, interactive map. Let's go to Madrid or something like that. So we'll go into Spain. And, man, Madrid's a big city. Never been over there. So you can click there. Here's the April forecast. We can go to July, you know, August, whatever, and then you can see what days are going to be raining. So we're going to get this out here. It'll be in an app form, but hopefully we'll have that out over about the next, um, oh, let's say a month or so. All right, so let's see what's going on out there for us right now. We do have some showers which have been picking up across northern parts of Oklahoma and then also in the northern parts of Arkansas, southern parts of Kansas as well. These are very light showers, but there are a few embedded little thunderstorms out there. But most of us uh, across Kansas and also Missouri are going to stay dry except the very southern tier. So we can look uh, south of Mountain Grove and then Mountain Home and then uh, just to the west of Jonesboro, Arkansas. A couple little showers popping up from Branson over to Bentonville, Fayetteville. And then also once we get over toward Tulsa, a few scattered showers and thunderstorms have been popping up. Uh, any stronger storms this evening, which they're not really even going to be strong, is going to be out toward uh, Enid, north of Oklahoma City and uh, just to the west of Tulsa. But these are going to be out there, and this is due to a weak little upper-level wave. You can see the spin out across parts of Arizona and New Mexico, and this fits right in with the pattern. In fact, this is going to slide right into the southeastern parts of the U.S. We'll look at that here in just one second. All right, so let's go through time here. So this is the upper-level pattern. So you can see the upper-level low. Watch where it tracks. Mainly tracks down in the northern parts of Texas, southern Oklahoma. So that's where most of the rain is going to be. Of course, it's very light, and then it's going to slide across southeastern parts of the U.S., and it's going to uh, go right into Atlanta, parts of Florida. Now, this is interesting because the last cycle would have been about four, February 4th or 5th. As we project four future cycles in the LRC, this could be a hurricane signature, meaning one of our hot spots could be the panhandle of Florida. So we want to watch that. All right, as we go into early next week, I got the allergies going on. Uh, here comes our next storm system, which is going to be rolling out across the northern plains. So there's going to be a big snow for parts of the Dakotas and then thunderstorms through the central plains. Uh, some of those could be a little stronger. There could be some severe ones down through Oklahoma, northern parts of Texas. I think most of Kansas and Missouri are going to be just good old thunderstorms, but something we want to watch. And then we reload right behind it. You remember the storm system uh, right before Christmas? So like Christmas Eve, 22nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, we had rounds of showers and thunderstorms. That system is going to return it. So this guy, which is going to pull out late next week, and this will be our next better chance to get severe weather across the region. This is going to last right before Easter, and then we have another big storm system right around April 4th or so. So a lot to watch as we go through the next couple weeks. All right, let me take you through time. Rest of the evening, scattered thunderstorms, northern Oklahoma, northern parts of Arkansas. As we go through the night, most of those showers dissipate. Let's get into Thursday for you. We're heading toward the weekend. We're almost there. All right, showers, scattered thunderstorms south of Oklahoma City. And then as we go through the morning, 
You can see just kind of on and off light showers, Oklahoma, central Arkansas, mainly south of Interstate 44. Still temperature is pretty good, 68 Joplin, 69 in Tulsa, Oak City, up to about 64 degrees. Let's continue. Here's Thursday evening, some light showers now. Try to get into southeastern Kansas, maybe Joplin, Springfield, a random shower. Again, not a big deal. And then all this starts to rotate out of here as we get into Friday morning. Now, we have a cold front that is going to roll through Friday afternoon, so we may get a random shower popping up. And behind that front, that will start to bring in some cooler air across the region. So let's look. Next several days are isolated light showers today, tomorrow, Friday. The blue days are colder days. So on Saturday morning, a lot of areas are going to have lows right around freezing. Another cold day next Tuesday. And then again next weekend, right before Easter. I think we're going to have a couple cold snaps through the first half of April. But the 16th and 17th, that should be our last potential frost or freeze. I think once we pass that, we are looking pretty good. A lot of thunderstorms as well. So uh, next video tomorrow, we'll talk more about severe weather events that we're going to see over the next uh, month or so. All right, guys. Hope you guys are having a fantastic, let me flip that back, fantastic evening. And of course, uh, we're going to be chatting soon.